How are you all doing today? I'm Isaac Travis and you're watching IT Creations. Today we are going to be working on our John Deere lawnmower. It is a L100. We are going to be souping this thing up some more. If you saw some of my past videos, we changed the gears out in this thing and made a gas pedal. And it is pretty fast already. But what we're going to do is this thing has like a governor on it right here. It kind of makes it idle down because it is a lawnmower and it doesn't get its full throttle. When you give it full throttle, it idles itself back down. So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to make it be able to get full throttle. And then I did break the cable for our throttle, our, our gas pedal. I broke our gas pedal cable. So we're going to be putting a new cable on here and making this thing get its full potential. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the throttle housing. Right here is the throttle. So it would pull it back and it would give it throttle. But as you see, the carburetor's right here. And then this right here is actually the throttle. See, it's kind of dark. But right up there is actually the throttle. And it goes back to this lever right here. So when this lever gets pushed forward, that's the throttle. And it really revs up when you do that. So there's some type of mechanism in here that once when it gets to this point, it stops giving it gas and it will actually idle it down anymore if you push it anymore. So we're gonna take this thing off. I already got it loosened, got a couple bolts out. I'm gonna take it off the rest of the way and we're going to see what is behind this throttle body. Okay, so this is what it looks like back here. There is the spring on our actual throttle. Let's take this thing completely off and see how it sounds like when I just use this throttle and we'll see how it runs. As you see, this is the actual throttle. Let's see. There you go, now you can see it. So that is the throttle right there on the carburetor. And as you saw in my other video, I unhooked the choke. This thing also had a choke hooked to the throttle. So when you would give it full throttle, it would choke the engine and it had a governor thing on it. So it would also idle itself back down. So this thing was really weird. And we're gonna be getting rid of all that. And we're gonna be retuning this engine and carburetor to make it run more like a go-kart and have a little bit more top end. So we're gonna make a mechanism to hook our cable, our throttle cable to this, uh, throttle right here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook that spring to where it's pulling it all the way back so it's not pulling on the throttle and we're gonna start it up and I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle and we're gonna see how it sounds and how everything kind of works and I'll show you how much better it is I got the throttle zip tied to the fuel line right there with the spring pulling in the opposite direction so it doesn't have any throttle until I come down here and I can push on the throttle and give it what I want. So it won't just idle out of control. Okay, let's start this thing up. sounds completely different so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out a way to hook up my gas pedal and throttle and I will show you how I did that once when I get that done this thing sounds like it's got about twice as much the power and yeah this is gonna be pretty crazy okay I am cutting up this throttle body and I am going to make a new one with all the pieces I have cut off so let me uh, show you what I come up with after I get it made. I made both of these. This one is going to pull on the throttle. As you see, I welded that up and made it the way we need it. And this one is going to be on the other side and this is going to reset the throttle. This is going to pull on the spring. So let's go over to the little tractor and hook these up. I got this set up here so this spring will reset my throttle and up here I got my throttle 
So I drilled a hole in it right there and hooked my cable up. You see I got that slot going through there. And back over there is where I welded up that clamp to clamp on my cable. And here is the end of it. Let's see. Right there. As you see, I need to cut the sheathing off the cable a little bit and make that a little longer so I can hook it to my gas pedal on the other side. But as you see, it will go back and it'll reset with my throttle over there or my gas pedal because I got a big spring on it too. So I bet that'll work really good. Let me uh, hook this other side up to the gas pedal and we will give it a try. Got the throttle hooked up. Let me push on the gas pedal and just like that, that's all we need. Let's start it up and see how it does. Okay, let's uh, turn down the idle just a little bit and we'll take it for a ride. Okay, I got it idling a little bit lower. Let's uh, take it for a ride. Let's see if I have to give it gas to move now. No, nope, we're still good with that. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We always got something crazy going on out here on our property, and you don't want to miss it. So I will see you in the next one.